Hello everybody, my name is Trần Thị Như Hoa. I would like to thank Professor George organizing chairs of the ASEAN and Korean Conference in 2020s. Invited me had talks on the webinars e uh, forums and networking for foreign students, alumni from the show us Asia and Indian. First of all, I have a brief introduction about myself. I received master degree 2014 in physics from University of Science, Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City. I has completed my PhD degrees from departments of nanoscience and technology, uh, College of Prior Nano Departments, Kachan University, Seoul, Korea. Uh, in uh, 2018, and perform assistant professors at departments of nanophysics Kachan University uh, at the same year. Now I uh, came back to Vietnam and I'm working uh, at Faculty of Material Science and Technology, University of Science, uh, Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City. Main reasons uh, uh, are about the surface plasma resonance, enhanced fluorescence, uh, for BCR, uh, optical biosensor, uh, bio nano photonics, and their application in biomedicals. For the talk today, what is your experience in Korean academic life? Probably the best experience of my life. I met so many good people, lab mates, and my supervisor, Professor Chu Hong Kyu, and make so many connections in Korea from doing so, who I still keep in contact with, such as Professor Lee Nye Yoon, Professor Trần Kiều Thái Loan, and Vietnamese Student Associations in Korea. I did study abroad at Kachan University as spring to 2015. So, Korea offers world class academic degree, especially in the field of science and technology. So, you want to feel the difference between those grams and other grams in other de development country. Korea is a very technological advanced country and learning anything related to text or engineering will be a good investment in both time and money. A master student may have is easier than PT student also you live far away from home and in a foreign environment with foreign language. It is very difficult for you when you study abroad in Korea. But I would say Korean students or people are pretty friendly in most of cases. You won't have to worry about the transportation because Korea have a grid subway system and a grid bus system. Public transportation in Korea is very cheap. About the item in the supermarket, not only have a wide selection, but also very adaptable price. Overall, Korean has everything, and if you explore Korea, you will find amazing things to do and see. It really was one of the best experiences of my life, and soon it's just at a convenient city. Soon it's a very fun, loving place to live. The life is very dynamic here. Play to spend less time are easily accessible. The events for holding international students' methods are quite common this day. I come back from Vietnam to continue to carry out our research, contribute to domestic science and develop more modern science application. 
the research group on optical materials sensors and application was established in 2019 at the Center for Innovative Materials and Architectures, Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City. I always remember that during my time as a PhD student, there were days where I was sitting hour to show the differ, the difficulties of the experiment or study that I wanted to repeat many times to understand better. After its failures, I learned many lessons. Scientists obviously know knowledge and experience, and there may be setbacks that I will still have to face. But with accumulated experience, the scientists can limit and easily to overcome our space. In my opinion, the qualities that science needs in addition to grasping background knowledge are hard work and passion for the job. To do the scientists, they love glorious creativity and real values in life. Therefore, each job has its own characteristics. Is it right for outsiders? But is it love for people in the forest profession? I feel very happy every day to learn, to do research, create, and think about their values in the future. The goal of my research group is stimulation combined with experimental research to propose the process for manufacturing technology of sensors based on the plasmonic properties of materials. Optical sensors using the surface plasma resonance have many applications in various fields such as physics, chemistry, biology and medicine, especially in the field of disease diagnosis. In particular, the research team develops optical sensors with the high sensitivity, good reproducibility, specificity and fast response time, and can bring the device to use the place. Since then, Opening the new direction with nanotechnology application research in biomedical science. Currently, the main research is to learn about the nanomaterials, fabrication methods, characterization analysis, structure, and application to optical, biosensor. Main research. First, he needs the surface modification to improve the pile capacity. Second, he designed of the optical fiber sensor in biomedical engineering for diagnosis application. The third is localized surface plasma resonance and surface enhanced Raman scattering study and some application. The last is the construction, design, and fabrications of fluorescent signals enhanced surface plasma resonance sensor for molecular level detection and diagnosis.